Welcome to another episode with Astral Auto Repairs. Can you dig it? Today we got a 97 Nissan pickup, no start. Uh, we already diagnosed this car, we already came out to determine that it was a distributor. Um, but I, what I would like to do is show you the proper way of diagnosing a vehicle with no start. Because a lot of you mechanics just think, you know, you check spark. Uh, some way you check fuel, but you forget about one important factor, injector pulse. Okay, that is very crucial. It's just as crucial it is as checking spark. So let me show you how to check injector pulse with using Noid lights. All right, get you a set from Harbor Freight or something that's like 20 bucks. Get you a set. It, it definitely helps you out with diagnosing a, a no-start condition. All right, let's get to it. Okay, here we have a Noid Light tester kit. The kit's very inexpensive, and what it does is checks for the com checks that the computer is sending a signal to the injectors, you know, to open up to let this gas spray. So first thing we're going to do is disconnect <clears throat> one of the injectors. Look the connector on it. Find the right one. Plug it in and set it to the side so you can see it. Next what we have is a spark tester. This is testing spark. Remove one of the spark plug wires and you insert this in between the wire and the spark plug. Now what you do is crank the engine and each of these should be flashing. Alright, let's get this out of the way. And let's crank the engine over. Now, as you saw, the injector pulse was happening. So I know the computer's doing its job, but we got no spark. All right, after further diagnosing it, what we did was put up the Vantage, check out the signal. We found out the distributor was not uh, putting out the signal. And the coil on this, the ignition coil, is mounted inside the distributor. So what we're going to do now is come over to this side. And we're going to remove the distributor, wires, and spark plugs. Alright, we're going to get this camera set up in the position so you can see it. We're going to start taking it apart. Be right back. Okay, here we are at the ignition wires. Now you notice these wires have numbers on them, 3, 4, these are the original wires on this vehicle. This vehicle has 240 something thousand miles. Uh, so we're going to be replacing those and we're going to be replacing the distributor. Now what's good about this distributor is you can't mess this distributor up when you're changing it. The distributor only sets in one way. A lot of distributors, you got to make sure you mark the rotor to number 1 or wherever it may be. And, but this is a very easy distributor. So I'm going to set the camera up, and being that the wires are already numbered, I'm going to pull them all out without even having to mark them. I'm going to do one by one. We're going to pull, pull them all out, the cap and rotor, unplug it, the whole assembly we're going to pull out. All right, let's set this camera. Okay, let's take off our spark tester. Unhook all the wires. We got a 12 millimeter just holding down the distributor. This little light comes from Amazon. That's uh, very cheap. What I like about it is that if I want to see inside a cylinder, I can put this down, remove the spark plug, put it down there. You can see everything on top of the piston. Okay, there we go. Okay, now we're going to plug it. We 
there we have it. Notice inside inside the bottom of the distributor, if you see it, there is only one way you can set this distributor in so you can't mess this up. Let's go get the new distributor. Okay, here we have the brand new distributor. And as I said before, you look inside, you can see this distributor can only set in one way. <coughs> to help us install this, uh, this distributor comes with a new cap and rotor. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna remove this cap to help us more easily install the distributor. Next what we do, take our little handy light and we look down into the shaft and we see, get an indication. Let me show you, let me take the camera off here. As you can see, get this out of your way. We look down in there. Okay, now we can see which way that distributor has to go to set in there. Because again, it only sets in one way. So, let's set the camera back up. And let's install this distributor. Okay, we got the distributor down. Let's put back the two 12 millimeter bolts. And there's a slot on this distributor. 95% of the time, you're gonna set this distributor in and turn it so it's between, so the bolts are between the slots. Now we're also, before we put the wires on, we're also changing the plugs. So let's get these plugs out of there. Okay, okay we just finished gapping the new plugs. We got them, big difference. The no plugs. Okay, let's get them installed. Okay, let's tighten them down. All right, we got the spark plugs tightened up, and now the ignition wires. Ignition wires on the fourth cylinder is very easy because, as you can see, we start them off. They go from long, from short to long. So we know the longest one is the furthest away from the distributor. Now, to see where these wires go, we take the old cap, position it where the new one is. We can proceed. Number one cylinder right there. All right, so we know number one is going to go here. Just line it up. Number two. Now we got that all together. Now to keep this looking pretty, <laughs> put these little wire separators in here. Keep everything looking professional 
Okay, there we have it. Got everything connected. Disconnect our Noid light, plug up the injector. Let's start this vehicle up. There we go, vehicle started up. You can tell this thing runs like it's got the mileage on it. Uh, what I'm gonna do is shut it off. I'm gonna check the oil. But I do not like the way it's running and rattling. <laughs> uh, again, this is another great job by Astro Auto Repairs. If we can't repair it, nobody can. Check you next time.